Hello there, my name is Dora Luz Molina, and this is my book review for the book Waking the Tiger by Peter Levin. So my first realization and aha moment that I learned while reading this book is that in this human experience, no one is prone to no trauma. And even if some do not want to admit it, everyone has trauma. It became even more obvious that there are levels of trauma intensity and according to the book's trauma symptoms descriptions, I could very much reflect on myself. Which is why I would like to share as a collectivist approach example about the effects of untreated trauma on myself. So after reading this book, I was able to confirm that I personally carried a strong PTSD in my early 20s and besides some other childhood common traumas situations. So for a couple of years, for a couple of years, I lived with knowledge that the doctors believe I'm a hypochondriac because no one could find the cause for my distressful conditions. So no wonder why shortly after my discomfort body conditions, I was diagnosed with high blood pressure at only 27 years old. So now I can see that my body was screaming for help back then and conventional medicine just couldn't really treat the signs of distress until the disease was apparent. So what's next? Blood pressure regulation tablets are prescribed for life and it was just really a heartbreaking time in my life. And But the good news is that that's why it's called human experience because it's an experience we all share and we all have in common and therefore we can find solutions in order to improve our experience in this field. So most importantly, how can we treat trauma and how in this case I have the chance to reverse my disease. So it's um, like a wildlife game <laughs> where we can only thrive when we figure it out how to free ourselves from the very common fight or flight mode or stress response. So I think the most important realization for me was to understand the ability we have as humans to rationalize trauma and being able to treat it as such, to treat it as an energy that needs to be discharged and to work through it to ultimately end up being a liberating process. So one of the many points I found uh, was I was being able to understand uh, common human behavior, like being hypervigilant, for example, or being in a defensive mode. I could understand those kind of behaviors more as a symptom of holding trauma in the body's energy system. So by knowing this, I can integrate this knowledge um, to be more patient with myself and with others, to be more compassionate, not to jump back right away, away and react to these mechanic responses. So it's an, So in other words, it's an easier way for me to not take things personal and rather understand this response as a person's desperate journey for safety and love. <laughs> so yeah, I have to admit that there were a few challenging moments while reading this book because I had to face the fact that there are many things I still need to work on because the book would describe all the detailed trauma symptoms that sometimes I still experience like insomnia, some destructive habits, racing hard, or worrying too much, shortness of breath at times, um, disassociation or denial during stressful situations, just to mention a few because even I have worked already on myself with several therapists and holistic practitioners on and off for the past six, seven years, I noticed that there's still more work to do in order to keep self-optimizing. So do not make, get me wrong. I have made tremendous progress from being very depressed in 2015 and being close to death sick in 2018 to I have never been happier in my whole life since last year, 2021. So like I said, I have made big improvements. However, there's still so much more to learn in order to not to not only keep healing myself and to keep dealing with the situations that life throws at me in a smoother way, but also to keep healing, to be better to my family and to my community who I love to serve, inspire and educate. So yeah, the bright side of a challenge is that this is, um, this can also inspire you. This way, um, this book have inspired me as well because towards the end of the book, Peter Levine shortly writes about his book, Trauma Proofing Your Kids, a parent's guide for installing confidence, 
joy and resilience which is a highly interesting topic for me to learn how to navigate the very common traumatic situations a child encounters in their lives and how through dynamic games and systematic strategies the child can discharge trauma so yeah kids deserve to know how not to be the innocent victims of life circumstances and with our help to learn we can we can learn to bounce back after feeling scared or overwhelmed uh, all of those um, yeah emotions so yeah it's inspiring to know that there are ways to educate ourselves on how to integrate this knowledge in our interactions with kids to eventually discharge and desensitize a traumatic experience on a child so he or she can continue developing and going through life without that stress response and there's therefore grow and non-suppress strength over whatever the traumatic situation was um, so yeah even i have no children yet i have already bought this book on trauma proofing your kids and i'm definitely going to uh, read it next um, but now going back to the book waking the Tri waking the tiger even um, when looking into trauma can be overwhelming after reading this book, I've changed my perspective into how to look into trauma as a helpful and healthy topic to address and to be more mindful and present and in the moment in order to not dwell so much in the past as, uh, in a way and that is going to affect my development or even when thinking about the future so much so that it's not becoming harmful or um, anxiety provoking. So yeah, being aware of the traumas I'm holding is an opportunity for me to learn to let go of certain things that do not serve me anymore. And this is how breathwork comes into the equation as a powerful tool to detox and discharge all that doesn't belong to us, all of that which is holding us back. During my trainings at the Alchemy of Breath, I've learned a system of breathing techniques that immediately affect my sense of um, immediately affect my sense of clarity, connection and peace and therefore create a new neurological connections in my brain that transform the pain in or uh, in, into rather some more proactive and optimistic ways to navigate life.